Hello, hey, everybody. everyone. Welcome to Armchair Quarterbacks. I'm Cameron Banks. I'm Alan Tito. John Foster. We're here to talk some fantasy football Ooh. news. Major things happening, man. This what a weekend, man. man. What a weekend. I mean, we were seeing guys uh, remain consistent. We're seeing some guys fall off. Mm-hmm. And some guys who are on the come up, really. And yeah. you should look to add this week. It was some guys that really made us eat our words from last week, man. Because we were talking crap about a lot of people. But yeah. one guy that came up in the clutch... Christian McCaffrey. I said that he was a ghost. I almost called him at Casper. But he's back, man. <laughs> he's a, He had a 45 rushing yards and a slew of receiving yards and two total touchdowns. Yeah. The guy is finally finding his place in that Panthers lineup, and it's good to see him. I mean, their wide receivers are not really coming through for him. Yeah. But seeing the implementation of Christian McCaffrey, it's been three years, guys, and we're starting to finally see results. Yeah, John, who's played did you on? like this week? What's going on with my Aaron Rodgers? Man, man that was a good game. Know, it, was a, it was a good game, but, I mean, he just – he can't do it all by himself, John. No. He can't. Yeah, it's tough. It's you know, they, they played him tough. They mm-hmm. did. I, you know, I should have actually switched out for Wentz because, mm-hmm. I mean, they weren't he, Wentz wasn't playing the Los Angeles Rams. True. Right. You're right. <laughs> Very you true. Know, I think it boils down to understanding that Aaron Rodgers has a lot of key pieces. They just can't put it all together right now. That's true. Due to the fact they were playing a really tough team with the Rams, Gurley had one of the better games of his <sighs> yeah, season right now. He really did. I mean, the guy is leading in touchdowns. Mm-hmm. He's leading in all-purpose yards. Uh, he's just he's that back, guys. Mm-hmm. He's the guy that should go number one overall for at least the next couple of years. Yeah, one of the most complete backs in the league, but even he didn't have the most points yesterday. No, he did not. My boy from the Pittsburgh Steelers, James Conner, had 38, almost 40 points. Mm-hmm. On Depending on what, the way your league is structured scoring-wise, James mm-hmm. Conner was at the top. Came up huge, man. So if you had Le'Veon Bell and you were concerned about whether you should have picked up James Conner this season, now you know. Well, now you know. That man <laughs> yeah. can stay consistent, man. He's, he's running. But, guys, weekly letdowns. Uh, I think there have definitely been a few guys that have just, you know, you drafted high and you were expecting a lot from, mm-hmm. and now it's getting to that point in the season where you need to start looking to replace them. Mm-hmm. Who are these guys yeah. for y'all? Yeah. Aaron Rodgers for me. <laughs> I mean, Aaron, so, yeah. What lets you down about Aaron? Aaron plays well, pretty good. Aaron's game. playing good. I think he's still playing a little bit hurt, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and, you know, like you said, he can't do it all. Yeah, he had the knee brace. So, you know, he doesn't have uh, – you know, that mobility for him. I mean, he just runs away from people, um, and it's like he can trot away now. He's mm-hmm. probably, you know, he can't get away with right. that. And the yeah. Packers' offensive line has uh, taken a couple of hits this season, a couple of little twings here and there. Yeah. But, I mean, the, their wide receivers still aren't really coming through. I mean, he's not finding Devontae Adams like yeah. he should. Jimmy Graham is obviously not panning out as much as he did. Still got some Even, good he, he does. He, he gets good yardage, and he, he produces for them, but not the Jimmy Graham of old. Yeah. And, you know, just – yeah. It's hard. You can't do it all by yourself. Aaron Rodgers right. and I mean in Ty Montgomery, you know, Aaron Jones had a good game yesterday. Uh, but the running game has never been what they needed to be for at least the last three years. No, you're I agree, man. I agree. Who's, who's letting you down? Man <laughs> yeah, I talked about my fellow Steeler James Conner, but Juju Smith Schuster yesterday let me down completely. That's two weeks in a row now. Um, two weeks in a row that Juju's let us down. I think that people are starting to realize that uh Juju can compete, so they gotta put more coverage That's over true. there. But now we see A B with I was two about touchdowns, to say, and then man. you see Aaron, Antonio Brown come through yeah, and really make those plays. Up, man. It's really cool to see. But yeah, yeah Juju's been letting me down and but in a sense it's better because AB's not producing. So it's true. It's true. And Antonio Brown is producing, guys. Seven games, eight touchdowns. Mm-hmm. He's still the guy. I mean, definitely number one wide receiver off anybody's board. True, true. And no one's thinking about trading him, that is for sure. Yeah, but another guy that let me down on the Colts is uh, T.Y. Hilton, man. T.Y.'s been yeah. letting me down, but I think it's more of just Andrew Luck spreading the ball out mm-hmm. more than right. he used to. And uh, Carlos Rogers, actually. You know, that we talked about him last week and what the, you should pick him up, and mm-hmm. he had nothing, nothing this week. Nothing I mean, it's... And again, that gets more to Aaron Rod- or Andrew Luck just tossing the ball around, hitting yeah. everybody. But they can. are running well. They yeah. are. They're they're Marlin doing. They're fifty fifty yes. right now. Luck hasn't isn't having to do everything through the air. So, sure. right, so their guys, running game's very good. Mm-hmm. Guys, with the bye weeks coming up, I mean, a lot of teams are coming into those bye weeks. Running backs are going to be off. Yeah. Wide receivers are going to be on. But one of the players that you, if he's still available, you got to go out and get him. Marlon Mack for the Indianapolis Colts. That is his backfield, oh. and he is killing it right I thought you were going to say David Johnson, you know. No. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that Guys, one of your letdowns? Yes, <laughs> my biggest letdown of the season is David Johnson. He's Whoa. been putting in solid 10-point production for the past four weeks. Mm-hmm. But, guys, you take I you take this guy so high. And the past couple of years, he's been serviceable, maybe putting in at least over 15. 
The guy is just trash. The Cardinals are trash. Man. If you have a Cardinal player outside of Larry Fitzgerald, let him go. Man, now nah, Larry Fitzgerald even can't get going like he wants to. Josh Rosen's trying his hardest uh, to, to keep it together, but yeah. youth does not beat talent. You know, no, and there's no one and there's no one else there to throw him the ball. Yeah, I mean, outside true. of Josh Rosen, there's no one that they can really throw in there and even be a quarter as productive as Josh Rosen. No, I mean, I it's it's bad. I thought about something. Aaron Rodgers isn't let me down. Who's that wide receiver for the Atlanta Falcons? Oh, oh my Julio goodness. That one guy that went oh, missing? Julio, Julio that's Jones the still, still missing oh, a touchdown this missing, season. Missing in action. He, I think he's three. He's second or third in, in this, receiving yards. Yeah, he's second, actually. But he is just outside looking in on those touchdowns. Yeah. It's bad. Julio, they just you know, unable to find him, and Mr. Ridley's still coming up big, too. So yeah. you got to keep one or the other. But if I'm looking to start a sit somebody, Ridley's getting the start off time. Oh, every – now, and see, that's so hard to say because yeah. at any given point, Julio can pop can off. Blow. And, yeah. I mean, at this point, he can have a 300-yard game with no touchdowns. Halfway into the season, I need touchdowns to produce, though. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Especially if you're in a PPR league. That's where the points are. PPR league, yeah. mm-hmm. Absolutely, man. But, guys, this has been Armchair Quarterback – Leave us a comment down below. Mm-hmm. Hit, find us on any anywhere, YouTube, Roku. Uh, guys, we're coming at you with all this information. Comment below. Let us know what we can do better. Yeah, we appreciate you all. I'm Cameron Banks. And I'm Al Tittle. John Foster. We'll talk to you soon.